Dear subscribers of Andranrullapam, we greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Daily meditation for Friday, the 7th of July, 2023. The topic for the day is Joy in the Spirit. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy spirit romans chapter 14 verse 17 at redemption we are filled with joy and with the anointing of the holy spirit we receive greater joy in our heart what a great privilege and joy it is to have the god of heavens dwelling in our hearts We march forward in joy when God himself continues to dwell in our midst communicate with us and to guide us Secondly the love of God is poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit Romans chapter 5 verse 5 And that great intimacy with God helps us to taste the love of Calvary Is not his love better than wine? Song of Solomon chapter 1 verse 2. One other reason of receiving joy through the Holy Spirit is because of the fruit of the Spirit that brings an inner change in us. When the Holy Spirit flows within us, we develop the fruit of the Spirit in us, and it is such a wonderful fruit. We can read about the nine qualities of the fruit of the spirit in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we start doing god's ministry with happiness is it not a great privilege to minister for the one who came from heaven to redeem and save us from our sins is it not a pleasant duty while writing to the romans apostle paul says that i may come to you with joy by the will of god and may be refreshed together with you romans chapter 15 verse 32 it is indeed a great privilege and joy to speak of the grace of god who loved us who anointed us as kings and priests what an immense sacrifice that he has offered for our sake it is really an honor and joy to serve such a glorious god Prophet Joel introduces such joy to the children of Zion. He says, "Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain." Joel chapter 2 verse 23. Yes, he will cause the rain to come down for you. Just like the rain filling up the ponds the rain of holy spirit will fill your heart and flow over your heart will be filled with the divine joy and gladness the disciples were filled with joy and with the holy spirit acts chapter 13 verse 52 children of god to the extent you are filled with the holy spirit you will have joy and gladness of heart in the same measure verse for further meditation there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of god the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high psalm 46 verse 4 bible reading for the day in the morning job chapters 34 and 35 in the evening acts chapter 15 verses 1 to 21